it's a well-known fact that the uh, the team that wins the state tournament is frequently the team with the hottest goaltender. A few have been better throughout the season than Burnville's, uh, Burnsville's Kevin Gorg. He won 19 games, lost only one, had a goals against average of 1.61. And now instead of bringing you the usual footage uh, of a goalie's job, our Steve Doyle and photographer John Koskinen have returned with the most exciting and terrifying view of what it's like to be a goalie. Burnsville's Kevin Gorg on being a goalie. There are ordinary people, and then there are goalies. I, I feel that way strongly. You've got your own world out there. You're by yourself. I just enjoy it a lot more. And it's not, you know, it's not more pressure on you. I enjoy the pressure. I enjoy having it on my shoulders sometimes. A confident, candid perspective of what is possibly a hockey team's toughest job from one of Minnesota's top-rated goaltenders. A view and a viewpoint we, the fans, don't often get. This is the perspective of the goalie's job that most spectators have in the stands. But at this height and this distance, it's a rather detached view. And you don't have a feeling for the absolute speed of the puck. To help bring the goalie's job into sharper focus, we've mounted a videotape camera behind a piece of plexiglass on top of the net for a view of what goalie Kevin Gorg faces day in, day out. It's like standing in front of a firing squad, and instead of trying to dodge 90 mile per hour bullets, doing everything possible to get your body in the way. But to get the ultimate perspective, we've mounted the camera and microphone on top of Kevin Gorg's helmet, so we can see what he sees, hear what he hears. Good luck. Now try. As far as we know, if the camera survives, this could be a first. Now, if you think you have a hard time seeing that blur of black rubber, well, Kevin admits, so does he. When you're sitting there, you, you know, you can't always see. You can't always follow a puck that's going 100 miles an hour, you know, to where you're going to stop it. I'd say more than half the time, it's more reflex than actually following the puck, you know, to your glove. Now, throw in some moving bodies out in front to screen your view and the goalie's picture is complete. Now, when the rush is coming down towards me, first you have to find the puck, who's got the puck, and where your defensemen are situated so you can see the puck and you don't get screen. Once you've got that under control, you must also use your per peripheral vision to find out where the people that he might pass to, or if he does shoot, where the rebounds don't want to go, for us to be an opposing player there. For Kevin Gord, this is what life is like in the shooting gallery. Definitely not for the faint of heart, but a role he says he would never trade. I I love where I am right now. I've never I never dreamed this would ever you know happen to me you know, if I was younger. I've never imagined it would be like this. I mean this this whole year has been really a dream. In between next period, we'd put a microphone in or a camera inside of the puck. A tiny camera. We'll get that view <laughs> a bit later. This is Hockey 85, continuing coverage of the 1985 Minnesota State High School Hockey Tournament. 